On May 17th, the sun aligns with the fixed star Algol. This is the Medusa star. Really juicy, really complex and layered mythology that I love talking about. Um, and then the sun is also going to simultaneously trine Pluto. This is a really rich aspect and I'll try to be concise here, but if you're interested in um, learning more about Medusa and her relationship with the fixed star Algol, you can check out my podcast, The Fallen Fruit. Episode five is the Medusa in the mirror. We do a deep dive into her mythology. And yeah, that was a really fun episode to do. You can also check out my website, katherineurban.com, where I have like a longer write-up on this specific aspect. So yeah, you can definitely check that out. But yeah, I love the Medusa myth and it just feels like this is such a dark goddess aspect with the sun aligning with the star and then in a trine to underworld Pluto. Overall, um, Medusa, the Medusa star, Al Gol, has connotations with losing one's head. And that could be literally, you know, especially if we're talking old times, but it could also be figuratively. So actually the word... The name Al Ghul is where we get, like, it's an Arabic word for Al Ghul, and it's also where we get the word alcohol. And we know that alcohol can be one of those things that makes people lose it, lose their mind. We've all we've all seen people have one too many, or even worse than that. So yeah, it's where we get the the term spirits, and Al and Al Ghul. It has a lot to do, like in the mythology, has a lot to do with dosage and potency. And, you know, she's got snakes for hair. So we know that snake venom has historically, um, we've been able to cure it, like in small doses. And that's with all kinds of poisons and, and substances that are dangerous in large amounts. In small amounts with the right wisdom, because we know that snakes and their symbology also and their symbolism have so much to do with wisdom. So yeah, it's a lot about like the wisdom of the dosage, the wisdom of trauma, um, the wisdom of pain and wounding and what that can teach us and offer us in terms of wisdom and strength, resiliency. So yeah, there's a lot of themes here around overcoming perhaps with this trying to Pluto and also maybe speaking up about something. It feels like an outburst of some kind that could be potentially really productive and also harnessed in some way so that it can be effectively delivered. One thing that really comes to mind is the chopping block, you know, with the off with the head kind of thing. We need to chop off some dead weight somewhere. We need to prune an area of our life. And maybe it is about like coming clean on some level. Like I've talked a lot about this in some of my other videos for this week, like with Venus on the North Node, trining Saturn. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. But maybe there's something we need to come clean about so that we can be really direct and really forward about what it is that we expect or what it is that is upsetting us about a situation. I think um, we live in a time right now where things are pretty tense in the cultural collective and for good reason. And it's very necessary that we're talking about so many of the things that we are talking about right now. But I think Algol and the symbolism of Algol is so timely for um, and so appropriate for um, revolution. And especially when it comes to um, pushing back against oppressors, because that's really what has happened in the Medusa myth. Medusa got punished for something, and there's so many different variations of the story, but basically she got punished by Athena, and she was this beautiful maiden, and she was ravaged by Poseidon in Athena's temple. So it's unclear. Was was the sex consensual or was was she forced upon by Neptune, Poseidon? Either way, um, that's a whole other conversation. Either way, Athena sided with patriarchy and punished Medusa, turned her into this scary, ugly, vengeful, loathsome monster. And we all know that slut shaming can do that to a person. We all know that also trauma and abuse can do that to a person where it takes away the innocence. It takes away 
the purity. It takes away a lot and it takes so much work to get to a place where you can function again. It takes a lot um, of deep processing and going to the depths. And so, yeah, we have this trying to Pluto where it's like the depths are here to help us. The depths are here. It's showing us a purpose. Like we did this for a reason. We got the wisdom and we got the voice. And so there's something about this aspect that feels really important. Um, like we're able to kind of make a statement or push back or say no, or say, this is why, this is my why. So there's some kind of um, useful medicine around this transit that is here to facilitate growth and on like a really deep, profound level being Pluto. So yeah, and and I've heard people um, specifically, there is an astrologer, where is my phone? Um, I was just talking about her, um, let's see here. And um, it's Amaya Rourke, I wanted to make sure I got her name right. And she was on the astrology show talking about fixed stars and she goes deep into the Medusa and Algol myth too. And she's got some really cool perspectives on that. So if you wanna check that out, her name is Amaya Rourke. So you can check her out and her work on fixed stars. And yeah, I'm all about Algol. So hopefully we can talk more about her some other time. And yeah, that was your little sun trine Pluto Medusa, little magic astrology shot of your day. So go forth and do something radical with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want more astrology in your world, go ahead and join me at Astro Catherine on Instagram, Twitter, or Patreon for extra bonuses. You can also book your reading with me at catherineurban.com.